Welcome back everyone. So today's topic is basically how do you have a product that is continually selling to people? How do you have a product that people constantly want? And the answer to that is find products, find other products and you have to do this. You have to keep selling other products and finding other products out there. Find the latest, hottest product uh, to sell. Like for example, I've got multiple products in my, my websites and my stores. If you visit my website, I've got a ton of products, but those products are constantly changing. I'm always adding new, new content and all, or I'm removing one product that doesn't sell too well and I'm putting another one out there to test the market. You've got to keep testing the market and you've got to keep on looking for, for hot products out there it's a number one key so whether you're trying to start a business to provide for your family or maybe you just want to grow your property portfolio or just retire young whatever the reason is you're getting into business let me say one thing you're a smart person because uh, no one well very rarely people become wealthy working in a job okay uh, as you know job stands for just over broke no one really gets wealthy working for a job. Um, even if you're paid 300 grand a year, if you're on a salary of 300 grand a year, well, first of all, the tax man takes half of that. Uh, in Australia, 48.5%, okay? Even if you're smart and you're doing all sort of stuff like negative gearing and you're, you're trying to offset as much as you can legally, then still the tax man takes a, a massive cut of that. So being, working in a job is not, I mean, it's secure, but really is it actually, ask yourself, is, is being in a job, Secure. When we had the last GFD, there were massive people fired and put out on the uh, on the uh, the welfare, you know, and because they, they couldn't afford to pay the bills, they couldn't afford. They they lost their job, and they people li really can't afford to live three months without a job, and that's the that's a, that's the the sad fact. We live in one of the wealthiest uh, countries, uh, some of the wealthiest countries in the world, on the, in the Western world, and most people have less than $2,000 put away for an emergency. That is a real problem, you know, it's, uh, you know, we've got other problems like immigration and all this other stuff happening, global warming, but the number one problem is, I feel, is people don't have 2,000 bucks in the bank account for an emergency. Most people do not. If you, or if you have your child and they're sick and they need two thousand dollars for a surgery, are you are you going to basically say, oh, to the doctor, I, I can't afford it? And I think in those situations you'll end up finding something, but and making that work out. But most people don't have two grand for an emergency. If uh, you know if they have to go overseas or do something or or buy something, uh, they don't have two grand. But uh, hell, they'll they'll find two grand to buy a big flat screen TV, you know, those new curve ones, they'll find money for that, that sort of stuff. But we're getting off topic here. Um, yeah, today's today's topic is, all right, so you're starting an online business. All right, that's right. All right, so you're starting an online business. You wanna, you wanna get out there, you wanna start an online business to provide for your family to do something, right? Well, if you're selling something, you've always constantly got to renew the product. You've gotta see what it, what's out there selling, uh, you know, what's my competitor selling? What, what's this guy over here selling? And see how long they keep it on the website, how many sales they're doing, how many reviews they've got, and find out whether or not it's actually a good product. All right, it's very important, very important. And uh, there's always ways of finding out other, pro uh, other products out there that you can buy, you can, you, know, you can jump on your competitors' websites and Amazon and eBay and all that sort of stuff. But it's very important to always be looking for other products because products do die. They have a shelf life. They do, they do die and they don't last very long. Heck, even McDonald's have product lines that don't, uh, that don't uh, last very long, even though they spend multi millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars on product research and surveys and questionnaires and client satisfaction, you know, reports and all that. They, they spend a, a massive amount, but still their product line, the shelf life of some of their products is very short. All right, you look at some of the salads where they have all these uh, ranch salads and some of them were actually fattier than the burgers. Um, they didn't last very long. So guys, just want to respond, I just want to give you this quick tip today. I want to keep this video very short. Always, if you're running an online business, which by the way is a fantastic idea, if you want to grow your wealth, you want to invest in property, or you want, whatever you want to do, whether, it, whether it's look after your family, start an online business. Do something where you are leveraging yourself. You're actually, where you're doing one thing and you can, you can go on holiday and the business will run itself and deliver products and look after people and that will help you. If you have two of those businesses or three of those businesses, even better, but at least start with one business. Start with one business that starts making money so you can start putting that away and investing, investing, all right? Because, uh, 
You know, when you start making money and you're not willing to invest in marketing or invest in advertising or find new products, then and you're just hoarding it away, that could be a, that's a problem. You know, you look at uh, Pablo Escobar. He started hoarding his money. What happened? You know, got mold got to it, or other, you know, um, the cartels ended up raiding his houses, and the police got it. Right, so you don't hoard it. You spend it. Money's made to be spent and invested in uh, proper vehicles, um, whatever that, whatever floats your boat. But uh, yeah, guys, look for new products. Always be out there looking for new products. My name is Alex Ryan. Give us a call if you ever have any questions or you're looking to start something right now. If you're looking for someone to work with, someone to start something with you, if you're looking for a hot product to sell, give us a call. 02 8003 7534. That's the number. It's on the screen. Give us a call today. My name is Alex Ryan, signing out. See you later. Have an awesome day, by the way.